In this video we are going to look at how to get the relative frequency in Excel. So here I have a chart that I just copied and pasted in here from my math lab, formatted it a little bit, and now we're going to create the relative frequency. So what I need is I do need the total. So I'm just going to create a little box here that gives me the total of all this and we just want to add them up. So we have a function for that. That's the sum function. So sum and then highlight all these and there we go. We have the sum. Then I'll center it and maybe I'll put some boxes around it. Okay then what we need to do for relative frequency it's basically the percent that this is 296 over the 2067, 402 over or divided by. So that's what these boxes are going to be. It's going to be this box here divided by this box here. But we want this box to stay. And so basically when we hit return, it gives me this, this decimal. It's the percent, it's the relative frequency, but I want to like highlight and drag this down. So in order to go, go up into here and make this C9 stay pointing towards that box down there, I need to put a dollar sign. So C dollar sign nine. Now what that does is when I click the corner here and drag down, the C9 will stay. See how the C9 stays? But then this one goes up by one, C4, C5, C6. So it actually goes here and does, this one has C3 divided by C9, C4 divided by C9, C5. So it moves down the list as I drag down and then the C9 stayed. Had I not had that dollar sign bar there, it would have went down. It would have kept going down. That keeps it from going down. All right, so there's my relative frequencies. And then basically we see on my math lab how many decimal places does it want. Well, I highlight them all and say go to format cells and number. So basically you change um, however many decimal places you want. Four decimal places maybe or five. I'll do four here. Click OK. Now they're all at four, and I'll just center it. So there we go. That's my relative frequency. And of course, if you want them in percentage terms, that number you can write into percent too under the format table. Okay, hopefully that helps.